a tumultuous week for Bradley University faculty and staff. Two professors have resigned. That's right, Anthony, and both followed the res resurgence of sexually charged cases from years ago. Sam Kohlmeyer has a story. The resignation of two Bradley professors within seven days of one another may have come as a shock to the greater Bradley community, but it certainly wasn't a shock to everyone. First to resign was Ken Young on October 26th. Young was a highly celebrated speech coach and lecturer on campus who became the speech team's director in 2013. Young had accomplished much since coming to Bradley as a professor and has past absconded his reputation for a number of years until now. According to the Peoria Journal Star, Young sexually assaulted a fellow female camp counselor years ago when he was the director of the Summer Forensics Institute. The victim shared her story on social media as part of the hashtag MeToo movement last fall, but no one knows what made the comments resurface nearly a year later. A Bradley University spokesperson had little to say about the matter, and according to the university, Young simply resigned to spend more time with his family. Exactly one week later, I was already working on another resignation story, this time for Insoan, the chair of the electrical engineering department, and his story is much different. An is a registered sex offender in the state of Illinois. Publicly, there isn't much information available, but the official registry states that An is a sexual predator. He was 51 when the victim was 13. I was unable to verify the legitimacy of what I heard floating around campus, but one electrical engineering student told me that An became a sex offender after slapping his niece on the buttocks. Now for the record, and according to the Peoria Journal Star, An served four years of probation for the offense and has reportedly complied legally since the incident occurred back in 2007. For more perspective, I spoke to some other electrical engineering students to hear their take. One of them told me that An's resignation came as absolutely no surprise to anyone as it was a known fact in the electrical engineering department that An always treated girls a little bit differently than he treated guys. Two other students told me that members of the student body had complained about An to higher ups for years and were frustrated that it only took one complaint from a freshman to elicit his permanent removal. These students told me that An appeared to receive protection from some members of the department even in times when that protection wasn't exactly warranted. Now, I haven't had a chance to explore this or investigate this myself. The fact that An may have been protected for years by higher ups in the department or higher ups at the university, but just hearing that is, is definitely worrying. In a statement emailed to me by Renee Charles, Bradley University's spokesperson, she said this, Bradley's leadership first became aware of the issue involving Professor Insoan more than 10 years ago. It fully informed itself of all the relevant facts and circumstances, as well as all relevant legal obligations, including Professor An's contractual rights. However, at no time has Bradley made decisions or taken action that created any risk to the safety or security of the campus or anyone on it. But An's resignation is a little bit different than the traditional sense. He will continue to be on campus and in the classroom throughout the duration of the semester, and my understanding is that he only resigned from his tenured position as a member of the faculty. If it wasn't an issue for the university 10 years ago, I'm not sure why it became an issue for the university last week. Maybe it was the change.org petition with over 700 signatures, each asking for the removal of An from the university. Both Young and An's cases here are direct proof that even though your past might seem long gone, even though something that you've done is years in the past, it almost always catches up to you somehow, some way, someday. For BUTV News, I'm Sam Kohlmeyer.